What's going on guys? I am Watch JR Go and today uh, we're heading out on a road trip so I definitely have the requisite McDonald's burritos and uh, we're gonna go to Joplin, Missouri and pick up Zach's new Subaru. Hey, did you, uh, did you bring your vape? Uh, of course. Well, I guess we're good to go then. I got my different coils in there, so <laughs> it'll really no. blow out the vape. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are at the first gas stop of the day, but uh, we're not getting gas, it's over there. Because of course we're in the Vol, it goes like 400 miles on uh, a tank and a charge. So we've got plenty of range left, it'll get us all the way to Joplin to pick up the new car, and uh, we're just getting monster here. So now we're refueled, ready to go. Let's get out of here. Check this out. That is a freaking sweet grab rod. Got the 350 Chevy in it. Big high-rise intake. It looked really cool. Now, something interesting on the drive. That's about all we've seen so far other than fields. And armadillos that are dead. I don't see nothing wrong. With a little bombing Power, baby. <laughs> Do you mind if I give her a ride? Yeah. I'll go I'll with. Ride with you. Yeah. You wanna drive? Sack's taking his car out for a test drive. You wanna go? No, I don't. And apparently we're here in Subaru Mecca. Look at this. There's so many Subaru engines. Also, this is the uh, old engine out of that car. It has a uh, rod through the block. There's a nice hole right here. Oh yeah. Uh, it's pretty solid. There's no moving that rod around. Another STI behind me. There's an STI out here. So many STIs. Karen spoiler inserts. It looks so cool. Woo -wee. More Subarus. Subaru Kingdom over here. Here's another one hiding over here. And an engine right here. Out of this one. We have failed again. Zach, tell him a story. I'm really sad. That's the end of the story. <laughs> tell him the whole story. I might need a minute. All right, fine. I'm sad. <laughs> you How can... far away from Ohio? You found a car? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, we can get to Ohio today. Yeah, we do need gas. And we're up here somewhere around like Joplin, Missouri. I don't actually know exactly where we're at. We just drove down a road forever and then we were at the uh, Subaru Mecca. But uh, yeah, here's what happened. So I checked out an 08 WRX. Yeah, come to find out it was actually a replacement motor. Uh, previous motor, OEM block, everything stock uh, was replaced and it had 120,000 miles on it. So not a huge deal, not worried about it. Uh, these two guys did it themselves. Still not that worried about it. But I go out for a test drive. Car seems really sound. First gear felt really good. Second gear pull was awesome. Third gear was great. Go into fourth gear and you hit the gas all over the floor and she stops at 3,500 RPM. So at first it felt like a clutch slip, but 
the RPMs didn't go past 3,500 RPM, and it, the car just still wanted to go, but nothing was happening. Uh, fifth gear did the exact same thing, but it felt a lot worse because it was a harder pull, I guess. I don't know, but troubleshoot a whole bunch of stuff. I actually found a bolt missing off or a nut missing off of the up pipe to the turbo. Figured, hey, it had a boost leak, not a huge deal. Get some OEM nuts and bolts for the up pipe turbo, but that did not fix it. Uh, tried reflashing it to stage two tune. Still didn't work. Tinkered with a few other things, still no luck. So for today, I had to make the call of passing on this 08 WRX, which I was really disappointed about. And me, I'm not very good about saying no on something that I really want. But 0 for 2 on buying cars, limos, whatever. But you live another day, right? You do. Time for gas. Uh-oh, gas time. Well, if you fail at the Subaru mission, at least you can get Culver's because we don't have that in Wichita. So let's grab some of this, head back home. <laughs> the guy was like, never seen a video camera before. What is this guy doing? Why don't you sit down? Look at this menu. It's real, it's good stuff. At least the reliable Volt never has any problems. And when it does have problems, the warranty covers it. So uh, that car never dies. He was like, let me see them logs, girl. <laughs> Look at that. Of course, that's what I thought I was buying last week in Texas. No, that V10 powered limo. There was, a, there was an excursion limo right there. How did you only see a Lancer? I didn't see the Lancer. There was an Evo here 10 minutes ago. Anyway, food mission accomplished. Rolling back home. Now we're going to go buy something else. Here we are at another gas stop, but uh, let's power on this baby. And we don't need gas because it never needs gas. Like 224 more miles. And we filled this up one time today. We drove forever. Let's do it again. Uh, they're getting arrested. I'm sorry, dudes. It does look like they're getting arrested, or at least out of their car. What the heck? Oh, it's two cops. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> oh, jeez. I can't even not keep that <laughs> It's pouring out. Not really, but it's just completely wet. And John Ross is riding this Helix and he just got. I can't stop laughing. <laughs> The Subaru mission might have failed, but this mission did not fail. This thing is absolutely wild. This super scooter that's like a touring bike, 250 cc's, digital dash, look at that. It has 72,000 miles on it. This thing has been ridden unbelievably far. It holds two people. It has like a backrest for the person in the back. This is a glove box. This is your fuel. I mean, we're gonna do a video review of this scooter 
and it's amazing. Look for the Helix video very soon. That said, please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you guys next time. It drives really well. Nice. For a C5. Yeah, it feels good. I think this is zero wheels, no, no play, it's straight. Way better than my last one. The last one was uh, kind of a rattle trap. Yeah. It's kind of a C5 thing, that's why this one is. It's definitely a C5 thing. This one's a lot tighter. Man, that's a hood too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that kitty bell sound is great, isn't it? Yeah. Man, it idles really well. The tune is on point. They they think Lingenfelter did everything? Uh, I think with the hood and... And with, the supercharger that's on yeah. it? Yeah. It could be a Lingenfelter car, because it does feel good, man. The short shifter feels good. Man, clutch engagement's good. Too much getting it.